Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. And in today's video, Six Flags like Disney and Universal have shaken up its annual pass program or season pass program or membership program if you're talking about Six Flags. So, Six Flags, just had, um, as recently as last week, had a season pass. Then they had memberships. Season pass was like $79 or so. And then they had memberships uh, that were all year long. Season pass would just be for a certain amount of months, like nine months. Then memberships were all year. Now they just, just the emphasis past weekend. They took that away and made three tier types for um, season passes. And they increased the price. So you have one day tickets for Charlotte, it was $50. Then you have the 2022 Thrill Seeker Pass, which is $115. Again, a season pass. Of other, this is like the regular season pass. And that was um, about $79. So about a $30 increase. And this has access to just Six Flags Magic Mountain and Hurricane uh, Harbor on select days. So this pass, this $115 pass, has blockout dates, which is something new. Uh, other Six Flags, well, the season passes uh, go at no black for the time it was it active and had no blackout dates. But this one does have blockout dates. It comes with standard parking and one skip the line pass and more. Which let's see the and more, uh, which is has two special two discount tickets for friends and family. And here are the select dates or here are the blockout dates kind of random blockout days. I don't know what's going on September 24th, but yeah. It looks like just in the fall. And But the Hurricane Harbor blockout dates, wow, that's most of the summer. Look at that. Yeah, it's in May. June, lot of dates in May. Or it's Memorial Day weekend. Then lots of days in June. Lots of days in July. August, September. And a couple of days in October. So... The block of dates really are applying to if you want to go use it in the summer at Hurricane Harbor, you uh, almost can't. <laughs> um, but plenty of days, I'm sure you can. But yeah, very interesting. So definitely check out those block updates if you want that pass for Hurricane Harbor. Then for a significant price increase of $180, you can get the 2020 Extreme Pass. Now, the Extreme Pass and the Ultimate Pass um, which, as you see, is almost the price of the low level Disney Pass. But these offer flex pay, uh, flexible pay, uh, pay available, which means uh, it's not a month-to-month -month thing, but you get four monthly payments for uh, this pass and the ultimate pass. So for the extreme pass, you get, again, unlimited access to all six times outdoor parks and water parks, all that good stuff all around the North America, standard parking, this one, we get a merchandise discount, 25% off most, keyword most, not every, but most items, food discount, 15% off most, again, most items. You get two uh, skip the line passes, which is two flash passes. You get a refillable soft drink bottle, of five discount tickets for friends and family, a single day dining pass, and you can be part of the Six Flags Rewards program, which members, uh, current members are a part of right now. And again, you have that flexible pay option, and this has no block updates. Moving on to the ultimate pass, which again is $330, which is more than Universal's um, California Neighbor Pass and the Gold Pass. Um, and again, it's just $70 less than the Enchant Key, whatever. I think that the Enchant is the lowest level. Whatever the lowest level magic key is for Disney, that starts at $399. This is so that's the 329 so $70 less. Um, Six Flags is really getting up there. I'm going to explain why in a second. Uh, talking about a direct quote from the CEO. But this pass has unlimited visits to all Six Flags outdoor parks. Front gate parking, which is also new. That uh, Universal has a front gate parking. And they charge about $60 to do that front gate parking. You know, uh, Six Flags, if you don't have this pass and you're getting a day ticket, they're charging about $40 for front gate parking. It's $25 for standard parking. So uh, <coughs> if you go enough times, this will pay for itself. Well, all these passes, well, just like all passes to all theme parks really pay for themselves if you go enough times. 
And if you're an Ultimate Six Packs fan, this will work out for you. Get a 30% off most items on the merchandise and 20% off most food items. Again, with the one refillable soft drink bottle, five flash passes for any visit. Meaning, if this is any visit, these must be... Oh, okay. The Extreme Pass is two flash passes, but only on the weekdays. Only on weekday visits. And same here. This is one flash pass um, you get every time you visit, but only on a weekday visit. So yeah, the ultimate pass, you can use your five flash passes on the weekend as well. Um, you get a 10 meal dining plan, an attractions credit, which I still don't understand what that means. Um, I don't know what attract... Oh, I think maybe... Now I think... I'm, I'm thinking of attractions as like roller coasters and rides, but maybe... It's probably for the games. You know, Six Flags has those boardwalk type games by Crazanity. And like the basketball game and all those different games, that's probably that is. So you get a $50. I feel like it would be a game credit. Again, I, I, don't quote me on that, but I, that's the only really thing I think you can use on. Or like the slingshot and that other thing in the back of the park by West Coast Racers. Those are upcharge attractions and the go karts. Yeah. The go karts are upcharge attractions, so maybe it's just for those. You can use the fifty dollars on the go karts and the slingshot attraction. I'm not sure about the games. I feel like hopefully you'll be able to use it on the games. That's an attraction, but definitely on like those upcharge attractions, which I still think Six Flags should get rid of if they want to become a proper theme park, a proper park. But you get a fifty dollars attractions credit for that, which is cool. Ten discount tickets for friends and family. You get a water park. Seating reservation, which is really cool, especially if you go to Hurricane Harbor a lot. You get one ride photo for each uh, season. Nice. And you get a part of the Six Flags rewards as well. And the flexible pay option. Now, Six Flags, and this is and this is it. So, three passes, no memberships. If you have an existing membership, though, like I have the Gold Plus membership, which is the annual pass version, all existing memberships will continue um until they, they expire or as long as you just keep paying they'll keep continuing the members entrance only is still there all the membership perks are still there as long as you keep paying for them um those new people will have to buy one of these passes um for the foreseeable future or for yeah until they change again this by the way only rolled out to six Flags' year-round parks so far which is four of them i believe the fiesta texas Magic Mountain, a couple other ones, um, but it might roll out to all the uh, Six Flags parks in the near future, so uh, watch out for that. Or a version of this might uh, roll out to the other parks. But Six Flags recently got a new CEO, and the new CEO said he wanted to... Um, no, he, he felt like Six Flags was going towards the, uh, trying to get too much attendance growth and that for cheap prices. And he wanted quantity, quality over quantity, basically. And he wanted to, he said, it's going to raise the prices, but provide a better product, which is good. I hope they really provide a better product. And with the Magic Mountain, at least, they seem to be doing it with not one but two restroom buildings under construction from the ground up. They demolished the restrooms at the front of the park and, of course, the ones near Wonder Woman and, and the DC Universe. And they can build brand new restrooms from the ground up, which is great because Six Flags, at least Magic Mountains, most of them were disgusting. That's already a better improvement. He said he's going to improve the food quality. Um, and I hope these this money, this extra money for the charging us for the passes will not only of course go to, towards new rides but things like um a parking structure for six flags an actual uh, paved pedestrian walkway and covered walkway to the parks so people are not uh standing in the hot sun more shade through other parks hopefully those little cosmetic things uh will come to the magic mountain and i think that's what he's talking about when he says a uh, better quality product for everyone, because he knows Six Flags is definitely not up to par with not even Knott's Bay Farm, and I think he is is really going to help 
the chain overall improve that, which is really exciting. I'm very excited for that. Um, and again, I, I, they didn't have to build new bathrooms. There's no new ride going in the front of the park, but yet they demolished the bathrooms and putting a whole new restroom building, which is amazing. Hopefully that stuff continues the next several years and small little projects like that with big ones like the roller coasters but those small ones impact impact the park just as more uh people have a much better time especially say you have a long drive just coming to the park you need to use the restroom you're gonna have a brand new beautiful restroom to go to instead of a dingy dirty one that gives you bad and first impression of the park so good job new ceo of six flags hopefully this continues across all their parks and it really will elevate Six Flags Magic Mountain, in my opinion, um, to a level like knots, and then uh, at least, and then it can start moving up from there. And instead of chasing attendance with cheap prices, uh, you know, Six Flags, I know that providing a quality product will increase the attendance just in general. So that'll be quite nice. But what do you guys think of these new past tiers, new changes to the annual pass or season pass program for Six Flags Parks. Do you like it, love it, or hate it? Or just think it's all right? Do you think it will help improve the park uh, with the new money raised? Or do you think it's just a cash grab? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.